Hi, my name is Clayton Molliver. I'm a plastic surgeon in Houston, Texas. Dr. Nahai asked me to present our paper, which is published in the April edition of ASJ. I'm honored to do so. Uh, my co-author is Dr. Kuhnert, who's the medical director of MTF. Uh, Dr. Culber serves, serves on the uh, board of directors. He's a hand surgeon and plastic surgeon. The paper is the role of endotoxin in sterile inflammation after implanted acellular dermal matrix, red breast syndrome explained. Uh, first of all, uh, a shout out to MTF. You don't see many foundations, associations, um, companies uh, pull back the curtain, as it were, um, to expose their inner workings, how they, how they come to do certain things that really give them a competitive advantage in the market, uh, but they felt it was important to do so for the greater good. Uh, so the paper uh, is, surrounds uh, four cases, two from myself and two from Dr. Culber. He uh, had cases associated with hand surgery where they used ADM, mine were breast cases where we used ADM. My cases turned out to be from the same donor, they were uh, several months apart. But when uh, MTF uh, got our complaints, they notified us that the endotoxin levels were very, very high. What's interesting to note is that the American Board or the American Association of Tissue Banking uh, does not require endotoxin uh, examination of uh, tissues. It's not, it's not on their required list. MTF started measuring it uh, in early 2018, and what they shared with us was they had a dramatic to zero complaints uh, after they started screening for endotoxin in all of their tissue uh, samples and, and ADM. And so this is an unusual report and paper in that there's no large series, there's no control group, except to say this is a historical control by virtue of the fact that uh, they log and, and, and report complaints about red breast syndrome. And after they stopped, up changed one thing, endotoxin screening, it went to zero, as you can see in this graph from a letter that they published in another journal. Uh, so, uh, by indirect evidence, uh, our feeling is, is that endotoxin is probably the causative uh, factor of red breast and uh, newly uh, described red hand syndrome. I hope you enjoy our paper. Uh, there are some drawbacks. We don't know if this is causative versus associative. Uh, there might be some selection bias, uh, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Thank you for letting us present our paper.